Hi, I'm Josh, uh, your SU undergraduate academic officer. Hi, I'm Sarah Uckelman. I'm the Equalities Officer for the local union branch and also an Associate Professor in the Philosophy Department. Who are the UCU? So the UCU is the University and Colleges Union. It represents the sector across England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. It's often called the Lecturers Union, but we're not just lecturers. There are librarians, there are technicians, there are research support, there's professional services and other support staff. So it really encompasses all of the academic and academic related workers within higher education and also further education. <laughs> Why are staff taking part in industrial action? There's many different reasons that have kind of contributed to the current round of industrial action. Some of these are issues that have been ongoing for a number of years, such as issues related to our pensions and the, uh, the, the cuts to our pensions and to our benefits. But most importantly, the current action has to do with pay, workload, gender pay gaps, racial pay gaps, disability pay gaps, and most importantly, in my opinion, casualization. These are all things that have come about through the marketization of higher education. And the consequence has been that universities are interested in getting as much out of their staff as they can for as little as possible. The consequence of this is that in the last 15 years or so, our wages have decreased by about 19% from what they had been. People working on casual contracts are struggling to pay their rents. They're struggling to earn enough to eat. And working on a casual contract where you don't know if you're gonna have a job in 12 years is no way to run a successful and thriving sector. What is a marking and assessment boycott? <laughs> it is what it says on the tin. We are boycotting anything that has to do with marking of summative assignments, exams, any type of assessment, whether this is presentations or vivas from the undergraduate level up through the PhD level. We are not engaging in meetings uh, to confirm marks. We are not dealing with uh, separate types of assessments. We are not writing new exams for the August period. Anything that has to do with giving you a mark for your work has stopped. Why have UCU members chosen this tactic? Because historically, it's the only one that has worked. Durham was uh, threatening a marking boycott this time last year, and this was part of, uh, of individual local disputes rather than the national dispute that we are in now. And the university came back with a settlement that allowed us to call off the boycott before it even started. So this shows that this really concerns universities and the management, whereas strike dates, they can just blow off. How can students support staff? You can support us in so many different ways. You can write to us and individually and tell us that you support us. Nobody wants to be involved in a marking boycott. And I and my colleagues who are facing this decision have found it a very difficult decision. So if you tell us that you are supporting us, that is that means a lot. But also go out and talk to other people, talk to your classmates, Have the, make sure that they understand why staff are doing this Make sure that they understand the impact of the university's decisions about how to mitigate this. Do these decisions water down the quality of your degree and make it less worthwhile? Go out on social media and complain. Let the public know that you support us. What should students do if they're affected by industrial action? Complain. Complain on social media, complain to the vice chancellor, complain to the, uh, the pro vice chancellor for education and Given that all of this has come about as a result of the kind of failed experiment in the marketization in higher education, weaponize that experiment against them. Complain to the, uh, I gotta look up the name of it, the Office of the Independent Adjudicator and let them know that you have not been given what you were promised. Ask for your money back, threaten lawsuits because this is something that the university management can solve if they decide that it is worth their while and the way they decide this is through their pocket. Thank you very much.